Hello, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining how practicing sustainable and ethical fashion doesn't have to be complicated. There are some incredibly easy steps you can take to make a positive impact on the environment and on society through your clothing choices. Let's get started by jumping on the first way you can get started today. So first, don't buy anything at all. It's easy to think you have to buy yourself into the solution, but this is very much not the truth. Try to use what you already own. You can really build a sustainable wardrobe by merely reusing and rewearing pieces for years to come. The most sustainable option will always be going back to what you already own. This will force you to get creative with what you have, distinguish what you really like in your closet, and to get a better idea on what you need versus desire. The more time you spend in your closet, the faster you'll understand your desires, needs, and personal style. My second tip is secondhand shopping. If you do happen to need to buy something Thing, consider local thrift shops that help the community. If there isn't any in your area, consider vintage shops or even online platforms like eBay or Poshmark. I really just recommend you buy from secondhand shops versus sustainable fashion brands because there is enough clothing already in existence on our earth to clothe the next six generations. In addition, really buying secondhand clothing extends the lifespan of each clothing piece and reduces the demand for new production of fast fashion. And my third tip is practice clothing swaps. You should consider hosting a clothing swap to practice sustainable fashion. A clothing swap is simply inviting friends and family over and asking them to bring their unwanted, gently used clothing over. Whether it's a vintage piece, a trendy item, or just a wardrobe staple, you can really find hidden gems in someone else's closet. It's also a super fun way to refresh your wardrobe while also helping you get rid of unwanted clothing in a sustainable way. A reduced is clothing waste that otherwise would have ended up in the dumpster or in the back of your closet. And lastly, clothing swaps honestly serve as a really educational platform, raising awareness about the environmental and social implications of, fas of the fashion industry through posters and just dialogue amongst each other, and emphasizes how important our sustainable fashion choices are in our community. The next tip is to repair and recycle. So instead of discarding damaged clothing, consider repairing and upcycling your clothing. So try to learn a basic sewing skills or take items to a local tailor for repairs. You can also get creative and upcycle old garments into really new and unique pieces. Try to have fun with it and consider seeing every piece more as an investment where you feel committed and repairing it if anything does end up happening to it. Consider any tear, stain, or a loose stitch as yet another opportunity to extend its life even more. And also as an invitation into practicing sustainable fashion. You will gain skills in the process like basing sewing skills and it'll empower you to take action with literally your own hands. Also, customizing clothing will make for great one-of-a-kind pieces that no one else will have, nor you'll be able to find anywhere else. Another tip is donating. So consider donating unwanted clothing to good causes rather than throwing them away. Donating clothing is a powerful way to extend the life cycle of your garment and also promote a sense of community and empathy. Depending on the condition of your items, there are various avenues for getting rid of clothing. First, you can donate them to a clothing swap where you can obviously, like I mentioned beforehand, invite friends and family. And you can also simply invite loved ones over to your house. This is the most personal and direct way to hand over unwanted pre-loved garments in your closet. It will also help build stronger bonds and a sense of unity and generosity within your social circle. I think your friends and family members might also appreciate receiving items they need but may not be able to afford otherwise and find financial relief in a world that is increasingly becoming more expensive. Another way of donating is to local organizations where you help keep a thrifting culture alive, further promoting sustainable consumption of used items in your local community. Charities also often distribute clothing to individuals and families in need, including those affected by disasters, homelessness, or economic hardship. In addition, donating to these initiatives supports the concept of a circular fashion economy, where clothing is continuously used and reused, helping minimize waste in the fashion industry. So my next tip then is reduce 
use washing. Did you know that over washing clothes can wear them out faster and can consume unnecessary water and energy? So try only washing clothes when they're visibly dirty or have an odor and really try to use just cold water. This is important because every time you wash your clothing, you subject them to friction, detergent, and heat, which can cause wear and tear. And also reduce washing will extend the lifespan of your garments, saving your money and reducing the need to replace items frequently. Frequent washing, especially in hot water, causes garments to fade more quickly. So the next time you wash clothing, use cold water so it's gentler on fabrics and it'll also be far more energy efficient and take easy and preventative measures like spot cleaning this is when you try cleaning the only stained section of the garment without subjecting the whole garment to unnecessary washing my next tip is buy less choose well so in a world characterized by fast fashion and constant trends the mantra of buy less and choose well is one of the simplest and most effective ways to practice sustainable and ethical fashion. This is all about buying fewer clothes and investing in pieces you love and will want to wear for a long time. Avoid impulse buying and focus on items that truly fit your style and needs. This will often mean spending a bit more upfront, but it's also worth the investment in clothing. Over time, investing in items you love can actually help you save money. So instead of frequently replacing cheap disposable clothing you'll be able to build a wardrobe of long-lasting pieces and really love pieces are the building blocks of a functional wardrobe where you should mix and match pieces to make various outfits this will provide a range of looks without the need for an extensive collection and hopefully by adopting a buy less choose well philosophy this will further encourage you to be more mindful of your purchasing decisions. So try to avoid impulse buying and instead force yourself to consider which items really fit your style and needs. My next tip is educate yourself. So stay informed about the fashion industry's environmental and social impacts. In the age of fast paced consumerism, educating yourself about fashion industries, environmental and social impacts is a crucial step towards making informed, responsible choices. Awareness will help you recognize the greenwashing, which is an emerging marketing strategy where brands exaggerate their sustainability efforts. And once we're educated consumers on environmental, social, and economic issues, we can begin to see through tactics and start to hold companies accountable. In addition, when you understand the negative consequences of fast fashion and overconsumption, you'll be less likely to give into impulse buying and instead take on a more deliberate and mindful approach to fashion. Truly being an informed consumer holds immense power in driving change. By supporting sustainable and ethical initiatives, you send messages to your friends, family, and to the world on where you stand and what you believe in. And knowledge can inspire activism where fair labor practices and environmental sustainability in the fashion industry can become a reality. A next tip is air dry clothes. So choosing to air dry your clothing is a simple yet effective way to contribute to a more sustainable lifestyle. It's an eco-conscious practice that not only conserves energy but also preserves the quality and lifespan of your garments. Opt for line drying your clothes instead of using a dryer. Air drying is much gentler on fabrics um, compared to machine drying because high heat and mechanical action in dryers can cause fibers to break down which can lead to pilling, fading, and wear. And also air drying can help maintain your clothing quality and color. So consider air drying clothing on a regular basis to preserve the vibrancy of your clothing and to prevent fading that otherwise would occur in your in your machine dryer. And also delicate items like bras, swimsuits, and activewear often have elastic components that can deteriorate in a machine dryer. So for the next time, hang your clothes on a line outdoors to harness the power of the sun and wind to naturally dry your garments. But if outdoor spaces is limited or weather conditions or unfavorable try indoor drying racks which will provide a convenient alternative basically these racks can be placed in different locations in your home such as a laundry room balcony or bathroom they're super cheap so look one up and then one of my last tips is to try a sustainable fashion challenge consider a challenge and initiatives from so fashion organizations which are just creative and impactful ways to transform your relationship with clothing while reducing your environmental footprint basically they're all about encouraging you to be 
more conscious of your fashion choices, to make the most of your existing wardrobe, and really to promote responsible consumption. You can always try Remake's No New Clothes 90 Day Challenge, which is aimed at encouraging you to not shop for anything really at all for three months. But no matter what challenge you decide on, when you participate in these challenges, each clothing choice becomes more intentional. You will start to carefully select pieces that serve multiple purposes and that hopefully aligns with your personal style. And finally, I would recommend boycotting companies. So boycotting companies raises ethical or environmental concerns, which is a tangible way to align your shopping habits with your personal values and principles. It will also help you stand up for the well-being of workers worldwide and send a clear message that you support businesses that prioritize ethical conduct. Companies are keenly aware of their public image and their bottom line, and when consumers unite and boycott, it will impact their profits. This can lead them to reconsider their policies and practices. However, truly successful boycotts are when companies are pressured to adopt more sustainable methods of production, reducing their ecological footprint, and promoting a greener approach to their business practices. So please consider boycotting fast fashion brands to start actively shaping the fashion industry and the world around you. And taking concrete actions will allow you to take a stand on things that matter. So overall, practicing a sustainable and ethical fashion lifestyle is a journey that doesn't require you to make drastic changes overnight. It's more of a process that can be both gradual and fulfilling. So please remember that transforming your fashion habits is more than just changing what you wear. It will involve adopting a sustainable mindset which will take time to develop and integrate in your daily life. This long-term commitment towards intentional and responsible consumer choices is worth your time because it will help you discover more of yourself and help build an amazing closet that reflects your values and tastes. Also remember that most of the work will be about making thoughtful choices over time and also just having a commitment to your values and living a sustainable lifestyle. So turn inward and start choosing which of the options I provided in this video, you'll start with. And to close the video, I really just want to affirm that I believe in your efforts and how you'll approach practicing sustainable and ethical fashion. It's different for everyone, and I really hope you take one of these tips and just go with it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. I upload videos on ethical fashion every Sunday. And until next time, peace and love out.